Hi guys and ladies, I wanted to tell you I ordered a new boat and it'll arrive soon. But meanwhile, my good neighbor was cleverly patching the gaping hole in the old one. It just needs to cure a little bit before we set it afloat. In the meantime, let's fish the shoreline. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. The water is cold and muddy, and who knows if we can catch a fish. So let's start out with this lure. It's a 1 16th ounce jig with a Z-Man grub on the end. I'll have all the details in the notes below. And after our fishing, we can try making some low-carb Italian. Steak pizza yola. Uh, the geese don't seem to mind the cold, muddy water. Mm. How do they do that? Let's go to another pond, a tiny one, where I know the water is always clear. I got one! I got a bluegill! Whoa! <laughs> a nice one! Look, it's a pretty good sized bluegill. I'm reluctant to take any from this tiny three-quarter acre pond, so let's throw them back, literally. I got one. I got a big perch! A perch! Wow! <laughs> Look at that! A nice perch! Wow! I'm going to throw them back just like I did. Oh, what a beauty. Just like I did the bluegill. Wow. I got one. Oh, it was a bass. It was big. a pretty perch. <laughs> I love it. You gotta let him go. enough for today. I'm going to throw it back in the water, then get back in the house because I'm freezing out here. I've got to prepare for tomorrow's steak pizza yola. Let's go. This pizza steak is known as pizziola or pizzioro. What I love about it is that I can get my fix for pasta sauce without all the carbs in pasta. <laughs> and I never made it before, so <clears throat> I scoured the internet and I found a recipe that lends itself to my own marinara sauce. So let's start on that sauce. I need a couple tablespoons of olive oil and it's just what I have. I'm setting our burner to medium. There's a whole head of garlic. I'm just going to brown them. I've turned the heat down to medium low on these because I don't want to burn these cloves. 
That's enough. It's time to get these toasted cloves out. Now we put in our can of tomato sauce. It's a big can. Now into our empty can goes about four ounces of Chianti. I'm going to swish that and swirl it around. Now let's just add it to our sauce. Look what I got at the supermarket. A big container of chopped onions and I'm putting the whole mass in there. Look what else I have. Basil pesto. I love this stuff. I'm putting in a big heaping tablespoon of it. That really gives the sauce great flavor. Here goes a half teaspoon of oregano. How about this? A half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now I'm adding a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. That's it. Look, I've stirred it and our sauce is now simmering. I'm going to place a lid on it and I'm going to keep it tilted like that. I'm going to let it reduce until we have a nice thick rich sauce. Well, we can't just eat steak pizzaiola, so I'm going to do something like a pasta substitute, a healthy substitute with these zucchini. I'm going to peel this big guy. Look, I'm making zoodles. You should probably cut these every 5,280 feet or so. Look what's left. A low carb mushroom. I put our zoodles aside. I'll warm them up later. I have here two bone in ribeye steaks. Now, I looked up a hundred recipes for this, and only a few uh, use ribeyes. Well, sirloin would probably work, I think. But I want to stay as closely as I can to Diana de la Fuente's recipe here on YouTube. I'll have a, a link below. Her sauce is much like mine, and she used bone in ribeyes just like these. I'm adding salt and pepper to each one, each side, each steak. Here's where we get the pizza flavor. Oregano, both sides. Flip them over. Now what I'm going to do with the palm of my hands is mash it in. You need to keep stirring the sauce like every 10 minutes so it doesn't burn down there. I'm so nervous about this recipe. I watched that woman's video. Well, I'm probably responsible for half of her 15,000 views. Now look, I'm going to put about three tablespoons of olive oil in this skillet. The idea here is to sear each steak about a minute and a half on each side. Let's start with this big one. The heat has to be up high. I hope it's high enough. Oh yeah, ha <laughs> ha! Another minute and a half on the other side. Okay, I've got a clean plate. I'm a member of the Clean Plate Club. Oh, look how beautifully that's brown. I'm gonna, wow, is that big. I'm gonna put it aside and do the second steak the same way. Here's where I get really nervous. I'm going to spoon in a good deal of our sauce. I thought so. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> Let me turn this heat down. I'm going to try to fit these in. I hope they fit. I think so. Yeah. They fit our juices. Now I'm putting more sauce over the top. I've got this really low now, and I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll check the internal temperature. You see, I have one of these. It's only been six or seven minutes, but that steak is done. Look at that. Beautiful. Look, I'm getting some good values now, 163. Remember our zoodles? I'm gonna microwave them for two or three minutes, that's all. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna keep it in the oven on warm, just for a little while. While our pizziola is staying warm in the oven, I might as well let you all know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. You know, we've been seeing each other for decades, yet she doesn't seem to think much of what I do in life. 
and I think her lack of respect for my endeavors is holding her back from marrying me, and I need to explore that. There it is. Let's put some parsley on it. Here we are once more with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for dining with me at my uh, clapboard uh, classless cabin. And you had a chance to consume my steak pizzaiola. And I'm anxious to hear what you think of it. Well, it was very nice. It was well seasoned. The steak itself was uh, uh, done medium. And it was tender and and lots of nice fat. It was a little, I love. little pink inside. And the zoodles were very good, too. Oh, very, yeah, it was a very that. nice meal. Oh, yes. thank you. And it it worked out. I'm, it did. It was good. I was so glad. Thank yes. you. Miss Lulu, our viewers have been asking me when I was going to retire from YouTube. And I said, well, when they no longer smile at my videos. Hmm, that never stopped you before. Mm -hmm. uh, can I have a hug?